It's okay, Rocky. You go when you feel like it. This is a tank people have been asking me to play for a while now, and I've been pretty hesitant to do so. It's not really because the mouse is bad, it's just that it's so slow. You guys know me, I love light tanks, I love tanks that can go fast. And this is the exact opposite of that. But yeah, the mouse is interesting because you can no longer research it. Technically speaking, it's removed from the game. Now, this was a controversial move, let's say. People were not very happy about it. And to this day, people still don't really understand why it was removed. At the same time, Gaijin did remove a lot of fake vehicles from the German tree, but that wasn't why they removed the mouse. Oh my god, the turning on this. The mouse was removed because it really just couldn't be balanced very well. People were calling for it to be moved to a lower BR, like 7.3 or 7.0. Some people even wanted it to go to 6.7, which is ridiculous. But yeah, they said the mouse just couldn't be balanced, so they removed it from the game. And honestly, I don't see why. I've played the mouse pretty extensively before, and I did pretty well in it. I think my KD is like 4.0. It's in that ballpark. It's definitely more difficult to play than most other tanks, but yeah, I wouldn't say it's unplayable. Yeah, your reaction times are slow, but you are very tanky. What is damaged right now? A 9 second repair just for an optic? But yeah, if you guys are going to suggest a vehicle, like, minimum 13 horsepower per ton, please. We are top of the team though, so that's interesting. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is very cool. You can see the shell hole right there. This casually bounces a 128. If you're going to play the mouse, it's very important that you have separate binds for your primary and secondary weapons, because people massively underrate how useful a 75 is. And when playing the mouse, don't don't go in there acting like you can tank every shot. Remember, the armor is there as a last resort, you know? Ooh. I mean, glad that it's well known that when I get a kill, I just make monkey noises. As you can see, the mouse isn't unusable by any means. It's not amazing. It's not meta. But, you know, you can still get some work done with it. And I know that people asking for it to be moved down to like 6.7, they say that, oh, you know, there are tanks that have heat at that BR. The vast majority of things won't be able to do anything to it. Like, just because there may be, what, three or four tanks at that BR that can pen the front of a mouse, doesn't mean it would be balanced at that BR. The M4A3 is what? 5.7? So if the mouse is 6.7, it could fight the M4A3 which I don't think can pen it anywhere. It really is fine at 7.7, .7. you just have to... All right, as I was saying, you just have to be careful with it and hope that you don't get bombed, but that goes for any vehicle, really. But yeah, the upgraded round is really fictional. The uh, Sabo APHE, it was for 128 flak. Like, realistically, if you shot it against an armor plate, it would just shatter immediately. But they were like, eh, hey, let's just, uh, fudge the numbers and add it to the mouse. I say this without a shred of sarcasm. I would rather be playing the M41D. Like, yeah, it sucks, but at least it's somewhat mobile. Why would you bring a KV-1 to 7.7? .7? Not even. Like, 8.0. Yeah, buddy, you can't shoot through fences. I can. Shout out to helicopters. And half of our team tried to rush across the middle and got absolutely annihilated. Yeah, pro tip if you're playing this map, uh, don't do that. I really don't know what he was trying to accomplish, honestly. Cool. Well, Russia's on our team this time, at least, so that's an improvement. Oh, this is not a good position to be in. Are you kidding me?
This thing is putting me to sleep. Playing it genuinely made me sleepy. Is it bad? Not really. Is it boring? Absolutely. So yeah, if you missed out on getting the mouse, don't feel too bad. You're not missing much. As always, if you guys have suggestions for vehicles you want me to play, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.